Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at the Gobo Master and this is a Gobo light texture set that comes with procedural looping and static light textures that you can use to bring a bit more realism to your scene when working in Blender. And today we're simply going to go through these and take a look at this comprehensive library of light textures that comes with 198 high quality Gobos across 13 interesting categories. And of course for those who like to grab these or possibly you like to play with it, then you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can check it out. Meanwhile, for those who might be looking for more stuff, the folks at Superhive are currently doing the cyber sale right now and they're offering a ton of add-ons, assets and lots of tools for 25% off. And with that said, let's dive right into Blender and explore the Gobo Master. So Blender simply open up right here. To get things started, you need to install the add-on. And to install this is as simple as going over to Edit, going over to Preference and going over to Add-ons. Now within the add-on section, you need to click on this tiny button, click on Install from Disk and locate the Gobo Master. Now once you have that installed, you would also notice that the Gobo Master also comes with an asset pack and that asset pack needs to be referenced right here where you have the asset pack reference. And so once you have that reference, you can now simply go over to the bugger menu, click on save preference and close the window. And once you do that, if you tap in on the keyboard, you would notice that we've got the Gobo Master right here. Now the Gobo Master comes with 13 interesting categories, which we mentioned earlier from windows to top roof, all the way down to fences. And to each of these, you do have nice looking stuff that you can work with. So for example, if we go over to the windows, we can see different kinds of windows that exist. For street object, we have different street objects which you can work with. And you also have different plants and you've got some, you know, procedural stuff as well. So possibly you like to work with most of these procedural things. You can of course go ahead and check them out. Then we also got some IVs so you can select some IVs and work with them. You know, how you work with these in Blender is this easy. So let's go ahead and bring this up so we do have ourselves a nice table so i'm just going to bring that all the way up and i'm going to split my window into two so we can see a render and also see where we are working from so now that we have this what we need to do is to get rid of our default point light so the first thing which i would like to draw in is a window so in this case i'm just going to go ahead and select a window like that and i'm simply going to click on add spotlight gobo of course you can add the ev gobo if you want but in this case i'm just going to add the spotlight gobo and that's going to be right around there. And once I drag this all the way up, you would notice that we have that showing up right here. So with this, we can make some changes. First off, we do have our exposure, so we can increase the exposure of the gobo if this is what we want. We can play with the power, we can reduce the power if we want, we can change the color, basic stuff. You can also switch to temperature and do your whole temperature thing if you want. If you like to change this one area light, you can of course go ahead and do that. And for area lights, once you have that there, you can also increase the size of the area light. So we can have that as our area light. We can also throw in a gobo blur if we would like to have a bit of blur in there and we can also proceed to make some interesting changes across this now once you have that sorted you might also want to add more gobos or maybe just switch to other gobos so if you're thinking about switching to other gobos you can select any of the gobos and you can swap those and that is how you switch so if we go over to for example some fences and we choose to select something like that we can swap those gobos and you can see that and if we go over to maybe like shrubs we can of course go ahead and select these and we can also swap them. Things like shrubs, they are already animated. So once you have that, you can press the playback button and you can see these playing back on your viewport. Now, what if we'd like to combine multiple gobos together? So what we can do is to go all the way back to say maybe windows and I'll select the very one which we had earlier, which is this, and I'm going to swap that to be this one. So we have that gobo right there. I can go all the way down and click on multi-layer mode. Now the multi-layer mode would allow us mix and match up to 10 gobos. So I can select number two, which is the second layer, and we can go all the way to our shrubs. So maybe we'll like this gobo, or maybe we'll like these other gobo, we can have that. And I can simply just make sure that I have number two selected and I can click on add gobo node. And once we add that, you would notice it is right here. So if we like to change the scale, we can go all the way down and we can change the scale. So I can bring that down and possibly bring this other one down. Another thing you would notice is we have this set to clip and we have extended and of course we also have repeat. So this is depending on what you want. So we can set this and bring that a little bit lower. So I can just bring that down about a point like so and move that about a point like so. And of course, in terms of multi-layer, you can layer as many of the gobos as you want. I can go ahead and have that selected and go right here where we have, for example, 
house object. Possibly you would like to show that there is a house object somewhere. We can also have that selected. I can add that there. Go all the way down. Make sure I have number three selected and add that. And so we can put that in. Go all the way to where we have extend or even mirror. And we can drop the size down. So we can drop that size of the object a little bit downwards like so. And we can also change the location where we want this to be. And this is just interesting. Like, for example, if you would like to also bring this one down, we can set this to extend it. And we can also bring this a little bit lower towards the points. So I can just drop that size and we can bring this about down this much. And so you have it. So you do have full control of how your gobos would be. And this just makes super sense because if you want to press the playback button and also have the other one animated, you can. And this is just animating the gobos and allowing you work with them. And with that said, let's go ahead and take this out and explore working with the procedural gobos. And to do that is very simple. So we're going to go over to the procedural gobos and we're going to find one. This looks pretty cool. We can have that selected. And I'm just going to go ahead and add spotlight gobo, which of course is this one. So I'm just going to have that there. And of course, we can go ahead and increase the gobo. So we can have this extended as much as we want. And we can also increase the power if this is what we're going for and the exposure as well. So we do have the procedural stuff going on right here. We can increase the size of that procedural you know, gobo that we have. And we can also play with the leave amount. So if we like to have this more, less, we can do all of that. We can invert this if we're thinking about doing something like that. So we just have the darker parts and then we can invert that if we choose. We can also play with some shape shifting stuff going on here, which is also pretty nice. If we like things to be a bit sharper, we can make that sharper and we can reduce that too. And again, this also supports the multi-layer mode. So we can have that selected, have this in the first layer, go over to the second layer, and we can choose to add other stuff. So other stuff can include maybe adding things like IVs and plants and stuff. So if we like to add those IVs, maybe we like to add a bit of IV from there. We can have the number two selected or the layer two selected, and we can click on add GoBoot node. And so once we add that, you would notice that these now stays right up in there. And so just like we mentioned before, you can also go ahead and make changes. Maybe if we like this to be extended, repeated, all that stuff, we can actually go ahead and do all of that. There is one feature which I would love to see, which would have to do with transparency of individual ones. That is something I don't have here. Hopefully this is going to be updated in the subsequent updates that will be coming with this. But for what it's worth, this is an amazing tool and you can actually go ahead and start playing with it. Especially if you're looking for procedural and animated gobos that you can use to start lighting and making your scenes look better. So this is it for those who are thinking about checking this one out. You can simply go over to the link in the description and check out Mr. 3D. And this is doing an amazing offer. Interestingly, if you're thinking about finding more cool stuff right here on Superhive, there's also a couple of cool stuff that you might want to get, which includes the bagger pipe, which is an amazing tool as well that ships with a ton of stuff, which includes architectural, vegetation, procedural and parametric stuff. So you do have a lot of them. We also got botanic from the full set polygonic and this is a tree and grass library. Of course, the folks at Polygonic have also put together a couple of nice things before. So just in case you're looking for vehicle assets, which you can work with, they do have that. If you're looking for interior assets, which you can work with, you know, because we've just talked about the Gobo Master. So if you're looking for interior assets that you can use alongside the Gobo Master that we've just mentioned, then you can come through and check it out. They do have amazing and also interesting interior assets that you can work with. At the same time, Procedural Interiors is also another nice interior tool that we've just mentioned on the channel. And this would allow you to create floor plans and build your scenes easily. These tools would work perfectly fine with the Gobo Master that we've just mentioned. At the same time, if you're into lighting, the Light Wrangler is also another nice tool for product rendering. So if you're into product rendering and you're looking for a tool like this that also ships with some interesting looking gobos and also light stuff as well, you would find this one super amazing. So this is it. There's just a ton of cool stuff that are currently available right now, which you can get on Superhive for 25% off. I'm going to link these ones in the description. So do well to check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. <music>